Guys, welcome to... Whoa, can we do a color swap? No, we cannot. So we're going to have... This is going to be a challenge. So stick with me with these colors because we've got fisheye. I think this is fisheye. Yeah, this is fisheye in the bottom left-hand corner. And at the 3 o'clock location, we have Jedi 1. This is going to be rough. Blue and blue. And no, I cannot color swap, unfortunately. It's going to be PvP. I think this is Monopoly. Let's go ahead and confirm that. It is, in fact, Monopoly. Fisheye going up against Jedi 1. This is BSL Season 14, Hostile League Round 16, Group B. Final match. Whoever wins this advances to the round of eight. Whoever loses is eliminated from this season of BSL. Both these guys, tough competitors. Both these guys, really strong in PvP in particular, if I recall. Jedi 1, I think a little bit more. Uh, I feel like Fisheye is one of those heads up macro guys where Jedi 1 as we've seen, is more opt to be creative, more likely to go for Dark Templar openers, Dark Templar shuttle drops, things along those lines. And this is one of those maps where, because of the extra minerals in base, when you scout and who scouts first and things along those lines can play a big factor. Fisheye actually moving out. So this is actually significant. So this probe moving out for an 11 scout gateway alongside this base that is going to give him the advantage of information however because you have this extra mineral patch that can accelerate your build order if you just use your zealot to scout rather than something else but it looks like a probe is being pulled off the line here for jedi one as well and i might mix up the players here i think you guys can excuse me for doing that given the i mean what you, you see what i'm dealing with Gas has been grabbed. Looks like there is going to be a first sell it produced. And it's going to be a two gate opener for Fisheye. Wasn't a nine gate. So usually what we're going to see is, yeah, that three zealot comes out a little bit slower. But oftentimes if you do get three zealots up into your opponent's main, and actually this probe is going to, this probe's ability to scout will be significant. So first zealot's out. If this first zealot can get to the ramp and beat that probe there, it could be a big advantage. And it looks like Jedi 1 not very familiar with this map. Because he went for a scouting pattern. He doesn't know where this base is. Oh, this is unfortunate for him. So he doesn't know the map. So this probe is wandering around trying to find a, uh, another main. So wandering up here. And this isn't even another main. Just doesn't know where to go to even send troops. First three zealots are out. They're marching their way across. This Zealot chasing this probe, but I think Fisheye is going to get a free walk into the base and, yeah, might be able to feast on probes. Dragoon now being produced, and actually with the timing of it, that Dra Dragoon needs to be careful that it doesn't get pinned in by these three Zealots. Looks like there's pause here. There is going to be an Assimilator and a Cybernetics Core behind this for Fisheye. And the probe actually might be able to join the battle as well. So yeah, the probe, oh, able to draw it off. Now, three zealots versus two. Marching straight to the probe line. Probe's trying to drill, one probe down. Zealot's able to get a three on one fight with a drone. Probe's now trying to engage to even things up. There's decent disruption that's been happening. I don't know who's zealots or who, to be honest. But Fisheye, <laughs> Still able to get some kills, and after all is said and done, was up four workers, which is significant in a mirror matchup. Jedi one quickly evening things, dropping, looks like he wants to go one gate robo to follow this up. Range being upgraded for both players, two Dragoons now being produced. Jedi one finally, I think this is his probe, finally discovering this base. Not long for life, though, as soon as these Dragoons manage to get out of the probe line. So Fisheye in a superior economic position. Might even be able to fight across this. It looks like it's going to be a robotic facility, then gateway. We'll see if Jedi 1... I honestly feel like Jedi 1 might opt for the support bay here. Dragoon trying to chase down that probe. Going to go ahead and back off. I wouldn't be shocked to see Fisheye. It looks like he is saving some minerals. But just to go a handful of Dragoons and maybe just go two gate into expansion with no Robo. 
range now finished, which is going to give the Dragoons advantage if they had superior numbers. Fisheye has the minerals potentially to go for an additional base. They might just wait for Dragoon range. I don't see any movements to go ahead and get his robotics facility down. And right now the Robo is up, but it looks like a shuttle being produced first with an observatory for Jedi 1. As far as raw troop count, so Fisheye staying well ahead in the probe count. The Dragoon's now fanning out. They can actually start making movements if they wanted to. I think they just want to fan out and go ahead and deny information on the front. Neither player actually getting aggressive with scouting, and as I say that, Fisheye moving forward with his Dragoons. Dropping his own robotic facility rather than going for a Nexus behind this. So the tech lead is going to be in Jedi 1's favor. He does have the robotic support bay after the Observer, but he's going to get that Observer out first. But still behind the overall worker count. Fisheye moving into this. However, he's eating Zealot Fire. Microing past everything with Superior Dragoons. And the Focus Fire just obliterating the troops on the ground. That Zealot looks like it's going to get picked off as well. So with the Superior Troop count, now he's boxed out Jedi 1 from his natural expansion. The Observer is able to see all of this, but it does not that's not an advantage. It's like, okay, yes, now I know I'm boxed out of my expansion. There is this shuttle here, though. So once this Reaver is online, should be able to push and maybe take this natural expansion. Jet Fisheye going to go ahead and grab his Nexus to cap that economic lead. Getting his own observatory up. He's going to be down in the overall Reaver count. No third gateway for Jedi 1. He's going to scoop up a probe. Maybe to sneak a hidden expansion for his, his second base. Dragoon's continuing to hold the ramp position. Yeah, he's just going to go for a hidden nexus and try to play the game that direction. We'll see if this plays out for him in the long term. And that's Jedi 1-style Jedi One tactics. Eggs being cleared out. Reaver being scooped up in the shuttle. And so a two-pronged, a drop along the, le the right-hand side, plus the Dragoons, maybe they can get a shot at this. Ooh, Fisheye losing control of one Dragoon, so losing one of them for free here. And another Dragoon moving up, and is going to take some free damage. Now rescooping and, and hovering this, and never mind, Jedi 1 wants to go for the attack. So the shuttle, sneaking around the edge. Yeah, with the close reinforcement point, this is kind of a smart play. Fisheye can't attack into it. So if we can go ahead and get rid of this so we can keep eyes here. Opening up this egg as well. But might be able to get a decent drop into the main and get some good probe kills to equalize the economy. Because right now Fisheye way ahead in the overall worker count. And it looks like Fisheye does not see it. Lands. Huge explosion of probes. One hit. A second hit. Incoming. Is it going to land? Looks like that's going to be a dud. Zealots engaging Zealots right now. And at the end of that, Jedi just about equalizing the probe count. However, there's still a natural expansion. Still getting more kills, though. Reaver now out for Fisheye, I believe. Trying to move across. So Here's the thing. Fisheye's still going to be able to equalize this. So Jedi 1 still needs to get more damage done. The Dragoon's flooding up. This is going to be dangerous. Might lose this Reaver. Getting a single shot. Able to get more kills and get the shuttle... And the Reaver out. So now Fisheye down on workers. Jed Jedi 1 walking down the ramp. Going ahead and clearing out the units in his way there. And should easily be able to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. And I think, is he still going to go for this up here? It's still... So he's got Reaver count lead. Shuttle lead. Equalize the economy right there. Tech lead. Still should have an observer someplace. I think this is... This is so hard to tell. I think this is Jedi 1's observer based on placement. And Fisheye dropping a shield battery because he was worried about... I think wisely worried about just getting run over. Two gateways. Fisheye now able to confirm the natural expansion. Two Reavers in these shuttles. Only one Reaver on the ground and no shuttle yet. Third Reaver being produced... Fisheye needs to micro this really, really well to defend this. Jedi 1 does have an option to go ahead and walk up and get some damage done. He's Fisheye way behind the Dragoon count all of a sudden. 
Reaver's taking some pot shots. Still needs to babysit this. This isn't a, a full health shuttle. Nice micro there on Jetty One's part. Now the Dragoon's coming up to support. Reaver's able to take one out. Oh, he needs to be so careful. Loses the shuttle, but both Reavers are on the ground. Negates a bit of the movement advantage, however. Nexus just now coming online for Jedi One. Jedi One pressing in, loses one Reaver. And now the superior Reaver count plus the close reinforcement points. As I say that, it looks like Jedi One diving in. Able to take out a Reaver on this side. But losing practically all of his Dragoons in the effort. Looks like the Reaver was focusing down the shield battery, which wasn't much help in this battle. So that attack force getting wiped out. Jedi One now way behind in the supply count. Worker counts equalized. Honestly, with that exchange, so Jedi One was ahead. With that exchange, ending up potentially down. Fisheye able to spot things, and Fisheye's macro is very, very strong. The one it, oh, and this is unfortunate because this probe, let's see if it wanders out to the north. Might be able to confirm. Nope, not going to be able to confirm that probe to the north. So now the advantage for Jedi One might be able to get this quick third Nexus down from a defensive slot. I don't even know that he's going to opt for that, though. Fisheye is tacking on a fourth and fifth gateway, sixth gateway. He's got his own shuttle and reavers. Much larger army and an equal economy. And in a minute. If Jedi One doesn't do something, he's only got these three gateways, Fisheye's just going to be able to outproduce him. And I wouldn't be shocked if Fisheye, it looks like he is pausing the probe production. We'll see if he pauses after this. As I miss an attack. Reaver attacking right there. Reaver getting wiped out in that back edge. And this Reaver is exposed. No shuttles to support. So that Reaver's been taken out. Two Reavers are still alive. For Fisheye and Jedi One calling GG just was going to get run over with that army. So with that, Fisheye takes the first match. Rough start. Both directions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.